Hello guys and welcome back. It is Werewolf here and we are back with the Rare Achievement Hunter. In the meantime of being down on this game, I have played on my own time again. Just to get a little further into the game because I'm not going to show you guys everything that I do. That would be taking forever. So I have sold a few more houses and we are working our way to our achievement that we are trying to get. Um, I currently have $252,668.26 in my account, so we are going to try something a little different and we are going to try and fix up and build a bunker. Um, there is a couple places in here that are labeled as bunkers. Um, you'll see, let's see if I can, like this one, um, there's old house with bunker, uncle's bunker. And I guess that's it for now. I did do a bunker earlier, so I know what they look like. But they are kind of hidden off in the bushes. There's a little bunker opening. I will post some pictures on the bunkers as usual. I try and take like a before and after picture so you guys can see what they look like. Um, we're gonna go a little bit more expensive because I'm also gonna try and get the achievement to negotiate for $50,000 today. Hopefully we can. I built up my negotiating skill, so I have a 15% extra chance of gaining that $50,000 negotiation. Hopefully we can get there. I don't know. So we're going to buy this house, and we'll go there. Um, there's a specific guy that I'm trying to go for. He is... Um, I'm assuming he's a hardcore survivalist and pr doomsday prepper and everything. It would be this guy right here, um, who is also known as Lone Wolf 37. Uh, there's a few things that he likes. He likes that there's a lot of racks in the house that he can store stuff. He doesn't need any sofas. He doesn't need any beds. He doesn't need. Um, he doesn't need a bathroom for some reason. Um, he doesn't need a bed. He doesn't need a kitchen. He doesn't need anything. He just wants to prep and live on his own, I guess. He doesn't want to deal with anybody. So we're going to try and sell to him today. Um, hopefully, I'm assuming he has a decent chunk of change. This place looks like crap. There's roaches in the corner, there's garbage all over the place, so let's take some before pictures. And here we go, we're descending down into, the, into a part of the bunker, I guess. Roaches in the bathroom, there's... Let's see what the bunker itself looks like. I'd like to go down the ladder. Let's get some of the stuff out of the way here. Come on. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? There we go. Okay, so he's not going to need any of these. I'm going up the ladder again. Take a screenshot of the bunker. We'll clean up some of this stuff right away. And there's a staircase to come down. So he doesn't need any of this stuff. So we're just gonna sell some of these objects. Um, we're gonna give it a quick little cleanup job. See what we can do.
he doesn't want any beds, so we're not worried about that. I don't know why he doesn't want any beds. You assume that you're gonna want some in there somewhere. Let's see, if I remember right, he didn't want a toilet, even. He likes the fact that there's a lot of racks. He doesn't need a sofa. He wants weapons. He needs to be able to protect himself. Doesn't need any furniture. Needs a lot of water. We can get rid of this stuff. Doesn't need to take a bath. There's gonna be one stinky dude. Stairs here into this nasty place. So he doesn't want any of this stuff. He doesn't need a kitchen, so we're just gonna get rid of this. We're more or less just gonna clean it up for him. We're gonna make it uh, pretty much an empty house. Come on. Every once in a while, if you see me uh, flicker the mouse around, for some reason my mouse doesn't want to work. stuff because he's not gonna need it anyway this guy is uh, very basic he just simply doesn't need anything down, make sure it's cleaned up. Make it at least look like it's a house that uh, needs to be cleaned. He doesn't want to look like uh, somebody that's going to be You don't want him to look like a weirdo, I guess. So we'll clean up the roaches. We'll get that taken care of. He's gonna give the guy some radiator to keep some heat in the house. Let's see, we'll buy one for right here. We'll buy one for right 
here. And right there. <coughs> He doesn't need any furniture, so we're not too worried about that. But I do want to make sure the guy has heat. Obviously, I don't want some guy to freeze in the middle of winter. This one's just about done here. for this guy. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of the upstairs. Come on, mouse. The upstairs is clean, the downstairs is clean. Um, see if we can start stocking them up on stuff. Um, buy many. Okay. So hopefully he likes that. Hopefully there is enough there that he's happy with. I want to try and make sure... Make sure he has enough. So we'll go survival. How about uh let's get some food for him? to be stocked right up. We'll give him some regular water bottles.
This guy, how much water does he want? I'm just gonna load this whole shelf up with water. And we'll get some food. Some more food, I should say. food to survive a week so he wants to he wants to be able to survive for a while here he's more or less like one of those kind of people that when shit hits the fan he's ready to go Just gonna give him a bunch of food. And of course we can't forget the peanut butter. Okay, so I got one guy saying that there is too much food. I got one person saying that it is not enough for their needs. And the guy that I'm aiming for apparently is wanting to go for years. I don't know exactly how much food at any point I'm going to have to supply. So, I'm just going to keep going with some of these shelves here. I want to make sure that the guy has enough food to last pretty much. Let's get some other, let's get some pickled stuff in here. as organized as possible just because these things take, take up so much space and like I said I don't know how much he wants in the first place so let's see what else we got I think we're probably pretty good Okay, so two of them like that I put gas in there. Um, 
the one that I'm aiming for though. Let's do this. Let's just throw some these large food containers in here. supply. Okay, so he's got that. I'm gonna throw some more shelf material over here. We'll just go with one of these. We'll buy a couple of these. I know he likes his... I know he likes his shelving. So we can get rid of that, and let's see. <clears> okay, <throat> so he has the racks that he needs. He doesn't need a sofa, so I didn't put any of those on there. Um, I put a decent amount of guns on there. He doesn't need any furniture. I put a decent amount of food, hopefully it's enough. Put a decent amount of water, hopefully that's enough. He doesn't need a bathroom. Let's see, there's no kitchen. There's no kitchen, he doesn't like that there's no kitchen. Okay, so if I go upstairs and put in maybe a small little kitchen area right here So he has a place for a stove. Let's buy one more, put that right there. And let's see. Put an exhaust hood right here with a stove underneath. Put a plain old gas stove there. You should be fine with that, I would assume. Okay. So we spent about 23 minutes so far on this house. It doesn't need to be too fancy. It's a survivalist house. Hopefully we can try and sell this. I bought the house for 131000 almost 132000 It's a decent sized parcel area. The house is a hundred and a little under 150 square feet. It has nine rooms and a basement. I have $123,000 left. I've been working on the house for 23 minutes and four seconds. Let's see. Let's see what the auction says. Okay, she said there's enough 
block looks much longer. So she wants a sofa. He wants a sofa. Okay, he wants... I forgot the first aid kit with the meds. And a gas mask. So I'm going to refuse the offer. I will take the penalty. Because unfortunately there is a penalty when I when I refuse the offer. So I know I know he wants a gas mask, so we're gonna put We're gonna put two there just so he has them and um Buy a couple knives just so he has a few extra weapons. Let's see, survival. What else could he use? Why not? M16 rifle. Why not? Okay, so he should be good on weapons now. And then, there's the first aid kits. Um, we'll, we'll get a couple first aid kits. We'll put one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here. One right here. Okay, he should have enough first aid kits for a while. Now, let's try selling the house. Okay, so I added obviously a little bit more to the house. Okay, so he has absolutely nothing bad to say about this place, which is a good thing. He didn't need nothing. So, hopefully, I'm gonna cross my fingers. Hopefully we can negotiate. I wanna be over $50,000. I don't need it to be too much more. So we're gonna go 50,289 because that is my next option above $50,000. All right, he took it. We'll take it. So, with that, on this house, I'm gonna make $128,733.08 with the $50,000 negotiation. And, when it loads, come on. I have unlocked the tac ta yeah. tactical prepper achievement and and I'm gonna have to look tactical prepper achievement and huh. Fifty thousand euros. Okay, so I'm not one hundred percent sure. Apparently, I did not get that achievement for some reason. So I'm gonna have to try again. But we got one achievement at least. Anyway, we made a decent amount of money on that one. At least it didn't take too long. It was a good profit for the time that it took. Maybe next time we will get one of the achievements. So, 
that is all I have for now. That is another house that I have sold. Make it one more closer to that achievement. Hopefully you guys like my videos. Down in the comments, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.